Hey, it's me, it's Dino! Did you spin crypto? Glad you made it, glad you're here. I see some folks on the chat already. It's so exciting to see you guys start logging in and uh, we can get a show started for the day. I'm, uh, I'm thrilled about it each and every day. Now, I got on my Hawaiian red shirt for tonight. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I got that... Uh, that uh, Floridian look to me today, you know, look like a tourist. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Disney. <laughs> so, welcome to Digital Spin Crypto. Obviously, this is not financial advice. It's just the, the ramblings of a common pedestrian uh, to try to keep you entertained and maybe bring you some information and, you know, all that good stuff. So, uh, keep that in the back of your head. Now, uh, for those that are that that watch the show, keep in mind uh, there's a link in all of the live shows. Yesterday's or today's, you know, going forward, um, we'll have a link for a Telegram uh, channel, the Digit Spin Telegram channel. In there, I personally talk with the, the folks. You'll get uh, uh, news and information that you just won't get uh, live and uh, little tidbits we also were lucky enough to get um, george alexandru who's on the marketing team of web dollar to participate so he is part of the digit spin crypto um, uh, telegram channel so if you have questions on web dollar you can ask him and uh, he'll respond to those as soon as he can he uh, he usually gets to him you know obviously within that day so uh that's been pretty awesome to have him available to ask questions and talk about web dollar um, we did our first ever ETN giveaway yesterday on the channel so uh, congratulations again to uh, uh, dose music he won himself fee 50 electronium so a whole week's worth of mobile mining or more uh, he won uh, from the contest now if we're gonna give away some more electronium today you know I got that experimental ASIC sitting on my desk over there and um, you know it makes a few coins I figured we'll share in the coins and give some away to you guys that uh, have uh, shown some loyalty to the to the channel we appreciate each and every one of you and um, so to do that after this show is over you'll want to put your electronium uh, uh, key or your your address along with a comment and uh, come back to the show afterwards don't put it in the uh, uh, the chat because that gets lost and it can't pick from there the picker can't pick it but uh, it can only pick it from the comments now today's winner which we do at the end of the show at the end of the show we'll we'll do a winner and uh, that particular person uh, will uh, obviously uh, be picked from yesterday's show so if you're quick enough to bring up a separate window and put your uh, comment in there with your electronium address from yesterday's show uh, it, you'll have a chance to win for today so you only have uh, the time till the end of the show to do that if you want to be included in the electronium giveaway so um, keep that in mind and make sure you come back to put in your uh, electronium address and a nice comment uh, to win for tomorrow or the next show I, I try to do these every day unless something emergency comes up uh, you can expect me uh, uh, every weekday uh, to do a show that's my uh, commitment to, to this particular uh, digispin channel so uh, we'll go forward with that now um, we did uh, those music so what we're gonna do is let's figure out uh, how many I, you know I was giving away 50 electronium and uh, the, you know that was kind of fun but I thought maybe we can mix it up and what I'm thinking is that we go to Google and they have this uh, random number picker okay so I guess I'm not as lucky as I thought I was yesterday Wow, that is really weird. Last today I put in a random number picker. There it is, random number generator. And it brought up a, uh, a nice little generation uh, toolbox. 
for me to be able to uh, to randomly pick a number. So maybe we'll do that next time. I'll find out where that is. I don't know why it's not there today. It was there yesterday. And uh, what I wanted to do is pick a number between 1 and 100. And if it's 50 or less, you still get 50. And this way you can win up to 100. So um, uh, just a little disappointed that uh, it didn't come up for us today. All right. I'll look into that and find out why that didn't happen. Sorry about that. And we'll, we'll add that next time. So uh, we'll just make it 50 Electronium. And then we'll go from there. Because, but I want to make it so that you could win more than 50 uh, on, a random, on a random generation. So uh, I'll get that straightened out, get my act together, and uh, we'll go forward from there. So let's take a quick look at the chat and see who's out there. Let's see, lots of stuff happening. We got uh, Paul. Good to see you. Nice to see you out there. Good evening. Uh, we got Sergeant of the Marines. We can always count on Sergeant. He's always out there. He, Sergeant says he looks forward to uh, uh, seeing the show every night. And uh, we appreciate you. And thank you for doing such. Uh, we got Alina Maria out there. Uh, Rick Viper Moto, my, my motorcycle dude. All right, let's see what Rick has to say. He usually has something interesting. He says it's 8.30 in Coin Bean Land. <laughs> uh, close to the 26th. It's almost showtime. Godspeed with successful ET unlisting. Yeah, you know, I want to talk about that uh, as we go along with the, the Coin Bean listing. And I know we talked about it yesterday uh, that it's a um, Monero based coins are a lot more difficult uh, to install because of all the privacy features. And uh, obviously, they ran up across a couple of. of of issues and as I was advised yesterday that they had it working they got things running finally and they were just making sure it's testing so I'm looking forward to a successful less uh, launch for tomorrow and hoping that that's the case and that they didn't run into any further things if they do you know if it takes an extra day so be it but you know we know it's going on coin beam it's as simple as that it'll be there and just make sure that they roll it out right. It's gonna happen. It's definitely being done. Uh, you know, there's no doubt. So uh, let's hope uh, that that turns out to be good. You know, speaking of coin bean, I'm gonna change over my camera and let's put this uh, these goodies behind me here. And let's change over so my my fat hat isn't in the way. Um, speaking of coin bean. You know, I was looking and I was doing a little research, and somebody had brought this uh, this link to me on one of the Telegram channels that uh, I interact with some of the Electronium folks. And what they were mentioning is that uh, that Dynance basically their volume has been uh, being eaten away by other exchanges coming out because you know Binance was like the biggest thing since sliced bread for the last nine months well you know other exchanges are coming out and they're starting to, to kind of eat Binance's lunch right Mr. Bean yeah see Mr. Bean knows what's going on exactly and uh, you know this particular uh, article was talking about that that you know Binance uh, fell to four in volume and uh, there's a couple of reasons for that but the thing that the reason why I was bringing this to you was that uh, you know Binance dropping to number four after the launch of Singapore-based Coin Bean. So you know, and, and I, I went through this article, but the first thing that comes to my mind is that you know Coin Bean could actually end up being far more important to get up than Binance. Uh, because of this and um, you know things change fads change you know what's important last year isn't always important this year so that's just the way life you know life is so um, they're talking about here the 24-hour volume is approaching two billion dollars okay two billion and uh, that's pretty significant because if we go down here Let's see, did they have the information for 
OKX is 9.30, second place, third place. So, you know, you got uh, Coinbean, 2.2 billion trading, BitZ, 1.5 billion, OKX, third, and uh, Binance, 602 million. 602 million. So you think about that's like one sixth of the volume of Coinbean. Can you imagine that? So the article also goes into though, um, if you want, I'll put that in, I'll mark that to put it in the description, the link to this article so you can read it. But it, uh, it goes into the fact that a lot of these new exchanges are doing a, uh, you know, a rebate type of thing. Obviously you can go on Binance and you can buy the Binance coin. Uh, and use it to get discounts on your trade. What Coinbean is doing uh, is similar to what Fcoin did. And Coinbean is basically you make a trade and then they give you a little bit of, uh, of uh, their coin, their Coinbean coin. And uh, so you get that in your wallet. And so every time you trade, you, they give you a little bit of their coin. So it's sort of like a rebate on the, uh, on the purchases and um this is allowing you know some people say hey well the, the people are just making trades to earn these coin bean coins uh or these f coins and uh, just to puff up the the volume and that may or may not be true it's it's possible it it, it sounds reasonable to to think that you know people would, would move coins around just to earn these coin bean coins uh, but the fact of the matter, it's a trade and they made money on the trade. So uh, it is a trade. I know that uh, CZ at Binance is having a conniption over uh, this type of, of business model. I, don't, I, I know he's not happy with it and thinks it's not good. But the fact of the matter is, is people are going to these types of exchanges. It's uh, the newest fad for exchanges. But, uh, you know, when you're looking at Binance at 600 million and we go back up here and we're looking at 2 billion, you know, what, that's four times, four times the volume and God knows what it'll be going forward. So, you know, Binance is good. I, um, uh, it's, a, it's a good exchange. I've, I've had a lot of good luck with it. They've had the uh, tokens on there and coins on there that I couldn't get any place else. Um, you know, but I'm going to open up a Coinbean account if it's um, allowed for U.S. citizens. <clears throat> no doubt in my mind, I'm um, working on that currently. And uh, I'm going to definitely be taking a look at what's going on with Coinbean here and, and start doing some trades there instead. Uh, I feel more better, um, you know, spending and trading coins in a place that actually wants my business so that's my personal opinion on the matter and that's that's how I'm gonna handle it so found this interesting thought I'd share it with you guys uh, Thought it was uh, something that you'd want to know all right let's take a look at the, the chat here all right yeah <laughs> Paul saying that uh, we're apparently all ETN shills. Yeah, it's easy. Send, it's easy. He said that he didn't like uh, people uh, repeating on his Twitter and shilling their coins. But uh, as you know, you know to shill something is not to be a, not to be a genuine investor in it. And um, each and every one of us. You know, lo love the electronium coin. It's 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 really simple, and uh, clearly our community came together and showed the overwhelming response uh, of being wanting to go onto a particular exchange, and it, it apparently wasn't appreciated. <clears throat> what, what am I gonna do? You know, I'm gonna say, hey, I got my polar pop. Hmm. I like these things. I get these at the Circle K. They have Circle Ks down here in, in the southeast. Mm. And it's like 69 cents. So I can grab all I want. Oh, let's get that straw out of the way. There we go. All right. So, uh, hey, we got Music Lover out there. Good to see you. Um, yeah, Music Lover saying, 
you know, Electronium is going to moon with or without Binance. And, you know, like I was saying yesterday, I told you I had gut feelings that it's going to be an exciting two weeks. And there's no doubt that that's going to be true. There's a ton of different other exchanges. You know, we talked about Next Exchange yesterday and how you can uh, be able to purchase stuff, uh, purchase your Electronium with PayPal, uh, hooking it to your credit card or your bank. So you don't have to go through Coinbase anymore. You know, we, we talked about all this good stuff. You guys knew about this a day before anybody else uh, because you watch Digispin Crypto. So that's an important thing. All right. Sergeant Marines is also in agreement. He thinks PayPal is going to be a game changer. Uh, you know, PayPal, um, you know, they have a lot of different things. They're obviously trying to get their patent put together, but it's really not PayPal. It's... It's the next exchange. The next exchange has a, an arrangement directly with PayPal to be able to transfer funds. And don't, don't kid yourself, um, the fees are probably going to be not cheap. Um, I know PayPal, to get your money into, uh, like when I do stuff with NiceHash, I'm, you know, I, I have mining rigs. And uh, you guys let me know. If you're interested in knowing more about mining rigs and how to build them and, and doing stuff with mining rigs, um, let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys want to see a show on, on an Electronium uh, setup or a, a different uh, Monero. Obviously, I showed you the, the Electronium ASIC um, and how to set that up. It was relatively simple, but if you want to uh, know a little bit about uh, mining rigs for other elect uh, Monero-based coins, let me know or whatever other coin that you're interested in. Uh, we could do a show on that. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's, all, it's all important. Now, PayPal is basically going to um, you know, connect it to the next, and because of how it's set up, you'll be able to obviously uh, transfer those funds in through PayPal. And, um, you know, I'm not sure. You, you still run into the... You still run into the problem if you have a Bank of America credit card, they just won't allow those transactions into uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, Coinbase, they stop Coinbase, they stop others, and they're going to stop the transaction to go through PayPal. If you have a bank card or you know one of those prepaid cards, you'll be able to do it through PayPal. The big advantage here is, is that you no longer have to go through Bitcoin and it'll make the process so much easier. Uh, I would say we would get 50% of the way. I mean, ideally it'd be nice, you know, you go to a site, you run your credit card and uh, you, get, you get Electronium and it shows up in your Electronium wallet. That would be um, the, the, the winning ticket per se, of uh, getting dollars or fiat into your, uh, your phone. Having said that, being able to cut away Coinbase, going into Bitcoin and then transferring it over uh, is, is a big bonus. That, that takes us at least 50% of the way. So you'll be able to use your PayPal, uh, connect through the next exchange, and then from the next exchange, transfer it over. So it cuts out a couple of steps, makes it a little bit easier. And I, I think it's a, a definite step up uh, for everybody who's in, involved with Electronium. Um, we're also going to do a little bit about Web Dollar today too because I have some news, some breaking news on Web Dollar so I'm going to talk about that later on. Uh, and if you have any questions, make sure you put them on the chat so that uh, I can answer those for you. Okay. So we got a crypto detective out there. Crypto Detective. Good to see you. Glad you're at the show. Crypto Detective, uh, he's asking me, what do I think of uh, Nagabo's price guarantee? Um, I'm not guaranteeing it he is. <laughs> I think you should ask about the, the performance warranty on that and how he's going to pay the guarantee if it doesn't happen and what's the date. Um, you know, his show is entertaining. It's fun. Uh, I think that... He has uh, evolved over the last few episodes uh, to be a, a, a more robust 
uh, individual that uh, has balanced his positions a little bit more with still keeping his entertainment value and excitement. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to, to, to listen to that. You know, you guys come to my show, I give you uh, what I feel is a balanced, realistic approach. Um, other folks like to give an excited uh, approach and and um, stretch, stretch it out a little bit and, and make it fun and what have you. Uh, uh, you know, if both both shows have a, have a great value, and both both ways to go about things have a, have a value. Uh, you know, if, if there's a, a somebody serious who wants to really know what's going on, um, you know, they might not find that as valuable to themselves. And if you're a, you know a long-time ATN holder and you you just want to have a good feel day today, you know, you listen to Nagabo. So uh, talk to him about his price guarantee, and uh, this is. See how he's going to pay that off when that does or doesn't happen. <laughs> now, if it's 140,000 Satoshis, you know, if he was smart, he just would have said 140,000 instead of $140,000. Because then he could have just said, well, I meant Satoshis. <laughs> and, and you know what? It's, you can hit 140,000 Satoshis. That's definite. Uh, definitely possible. Yeah. But uh, what do I know? All right, uh, we got Music Lover again. Let's see what we got here. Once Next Exchange is fully functional and running, I think it will surpass centralized exchanges. Well, you know, uh, the decentralized exchange model uh, is something that's been looked at and clamored at, and a way to be able to trade any coin to any coin. Uh, you know, right now you. You want to sell something, you got to sell it back into Bitcoin, and then you got to you come back and then buy the coins that you want with it out of Bitcoin. Uh, you know, it truly decentralizes that you can go from any coin to any coin and, um, you know, saves you a little bit of grief and be able to, to transfer things around. Uh, additionally, you don't have to actually put your funds into a true decentralized exchange. It actually um, holds them in your wallet and when an agreed upon price, it'll then make the trade for you. And you, you basically, uh, you, you swap them out. So, um, you know, we'll see how those turn out. There's advantages and disadvantages to each. Obviously, if you have a centralized exchange, they have your, they have your coins. They're just giving you an IOU saying, I owe you these coins. You don't actually have possession of them. They're just telling you, hey, you know, we have these, we have these squirreled away in the back for you. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. And as you know, that works great until somebody gets hacked and, uh, you know, and all the coins disappear because they're not in your possession. All right. All you have is an IOU. So that's the reason why a lot of folks are looking forward to decentralize so that they remain in your possession at all times. So we'll see how that all turns out. I think there's a, uh, a big benefit to it. Um, so let's take a quick look. I know we, we jumped in ahead, um, but I had to show you this article. Obviously, uh, you know, as we said yesterday, Bitcoin was on a tear. Uh, still, you know, it's holding its own and um, you know doing a lot of background information and checks it appears that uh, you know this consensus is is that we may still see some more out of this as we go along and uh, we may not get a, an immediate dump on this so everybody seems to still be relatively positive and keep in mind, a lot of this is on the speculative nature. You know, everybody made a big deal of these ETFs, ETFs. Everybody's trying to jump into it, get a hold of their Bitcoins before it rises because it's specific to Bitcoin, the, the CTF situation. And it's months away. And then at that point, it'll be another month or so before that. You know, so you're looking at another quarter before anything happens. So at some point, you know, you're going to have a drop. You know, but let's see how far this goes. It's you know, it's kind of good for everybody uh, that it continues to go up. Now, a few shows back, I also had talked about uh, Bitcoin dominance and why it was so important. 
And this is something that, again, you want to you wanna just kind of keep an eye on. Because as you notice, as the Bitcoin dominance goes up here, say we're, all right, right here. As the Bitcoin dominance goes up, it's got to take it from other coins and they go down. Okay, or it's just fresh cash coming in, but that's usually not the case. So when you take a look at right over my hat here, you start to see that what's happening is, is that people are getting rid of some of these coins and they're selling off their altcoins. The reason why they're selling them off is that they're trying to hoard up all these Bitcoins, they sell off their altcoins, hoard up the Bitcoins because they're, they think it's going to explode and go up because of ETFs. And the sad news is, is that yeah, that'll happen, but it's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen next week. Not going to happen next month. And uh, it's a lot of craziness going on right now for something that's going to happen way out there. And, you know, and I guess that's how the markets work. You buy on the rumor and sell on the news. But at some point, you know, Bitcoin's going to have to take a, a return back a little bit. It just can't, you know, it won't keep going up. It's going to have to level off and altcoins are going to continue uh, to, to go down in price only because you have a lot of people selling out of them. You can see it here and they're selling out and they're putting the money into Bitcoin. Now, when you see this start to turn around, this is how you know when the altcoins are going to go back up. When you start to see this Bitcoin dominance drop, just like you see, you know, here it drop, you see the, it going back up. So when it drops, all the altcoins alt take that nice bump. Same here. When uh, Bitcoin drops, it comes back down. It's because they, the dominance of, of Bitcoin, all the money that was in Bitcoin, is transferring into these altcoins. And then the altcoins go up. And it'll be the same thing. So do yourself a favor. Keep an eye on this. And when you start to see that turn, that means that people have relaxed with Bitcoin. They're not hoarding it as much. And they're willing to put it back into the altcoins when you get a flow of this money going back in uh the prices of altcoins start flying so that's good stuff let's take a look at the uh at the chat we got all sorts of good stuff here all right okay we got RJ. Good to see you out there, RJ. Let's see what RJ has to say. Question. Will you be able to transfer Electronium back to PayPal, then straight to a bank account? Uh, that is how it works. Uh, I was telling you before about uh, I mine with NiceHash. I can take NiceHash earnings and it can automatically deposit it into Coinbase. Once it's in Coinbase, I can cash out. Now, you, you can either send it uh, back to your bank account, but if you don't have that, you can also have it sent through PayPal uh, to you. Now, the issue is, is that, you know, in Coinbase's example, Coinbase charges you a little fee, and then PayPal looks at it like it was a credit card transaction. In PayPal, you know, we have a company, and... Every time somebody purchases something on there, they buy $100 worth of stuff, I get $97. The reason why I get and I receive $97 is PayPal charges 2.95% uh, to handle the transaction. So they skim a little off the top, get a little trim there, and uh, that's how they make their money. I guarantee you that it'll work the same way when you're uh, gonna be going in you're gonna lose 3% and when you come out you're gonna lose 3% my gut feeling from my experience and active use currently uh, interacting with PayPal they ain't cheap by any stretch of the imagination uh, they're just as expensive as any of the other credit card processing centers mm. so don't expect to be getting a good deal you'll but it'll be an easy process and you'll be able to move stuff in and out but uh, expect them to take a cut and then if you made any money don't forget Uncle Sam is gonna stick his hands in your pocket at the end of the year also so you can pay six percent to him whatever you got left over Uncle Sam's gonna want another thirty four point five percent 
uh, of those earnings. So uh, <laughs> keep that in mind. Everybody's always trying to everybody's trying to steal my money. I don't get it. <laughs> hey, when that happens, right, Mister Bean? Yeah. Yes, Mister Bean knows. He taxes are terrible. It's just, it's just you know, it's, it's crazy, right? Yeah. Who who likes taxes? All right. <laughs> Paul likes Mr. Bean's reactions to Binance. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bean's one of my favorite characters of all time. If you ever get a chance, you should uh, check it out on YouTube. Go to Mr. Bean. And there's a couple of different channels that they have. But they have all the, uh, all the shows uh, from the 80s. Uh, out there, and then uh, there's probably I think there's the Mr. Bean cartoon. Um, obviously, there's uh, three or four movies, and uh, of course there's Johnny English, which is not actually Mr. Bean, but it, uh, Rowan Atkinson himself playing a, a another goofy type of character, uh, pretending to be a, you know being a spy, a kind of a goofy spy type of guy. And I and if I'm not mistaken, I think he's coming out with another movie, but I'm. I may be wrong. Maybe I, maybe I dreamt it. I don't know. You know weird things happen. So what are you gonna do? Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Sergeant Marines trying to tell me something. Um, you have to sell your ETN into Bitcoin and then send it to Gemini Exchange, and then you get fiat within hours. Okay. So this was just responding out to RJ, and that makes sense. Uh, we got new trick out there. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, what is your opinion about Electronium's volatility when a store takes it as payment uh, and throughout the day the price drops, say, 3%, unless they convert it to Tether or USD after every transaction? Yeah, so here's the thing. How that's going to happen. There is absolutely a chance of a gain or a loss to that... Um, that retailer absolutely however that can be mitigated reasonably well because the prices you know they can change you know you can have a bump in an hour and, and you can have a drop in an hour and those seem those those events don't happen too often it's it's a usually a period of 12 hours or so and the reason why I bring up that period of time as we described the electronium is going to um, ring off the amount, send an instant verification uh, to, the, to the retailer saying it's approved, we're going to send it to you. So they're going to let you walk out with that 99, that $1 bottle of water. Uh, for the Electronium for $1, let's say it's 100 Electronium. Okay. What's going to happen is Electronium is going to uh, try to immediately get that transaction out as fast as possible. They're going to put it on the blockchain, and, and when they send the authorization, they'll probably, you know, set it up to send. It'll either be batched uh, within 60 seconds, or it may even process simultaneously. So the authorization comes, it goes out to the blockchain at the same time. That's how I would do it, but there may be a need to batch it that I that I don't understand. Now it's going to work its way through the blockchain. That's the whole point of why. Uh, Richard Ells was talking about the ASICs and, and getting the network stabilized. It had to be functioning as effectively as a, as a blockchain can. You know, blockchains get monkeyed with, but it had to be effective as possible because that transactions, you know, when I send something, it, it seems to show up within, the, you know, with under 10 minutes. Uh, now these days I'm, I'm kind of getting my transactions I send uh, something out it goes pretty quick so what's gonna happen is is that transaction will go to that particular store now as the store retailer I set up an account uh, you could do it at Bitrix or and it's probably at every you could probably set these up at every major exchange but I, like I know like at Bitrix I can set up an Electronium account if they carry it, or whatever whatever exchange carries it. And so let's say Coinbean. I'm going to set up a Coinbean account, and I'm going to have that address as the authorized payment address that the guy clicked in to buy the bottle of water. 
So it sends out the, uh, the approval. I let the guy go. It goes onto the blockchain. If everything is working the way it's supposed to be and as advertised, it's going to show up in approximately 10 minutes in the Coinbean account. And maybe Coinbean takes an extra five minutes to process it and take the coins, throw them in the bag, add it to the database, show it to, show it, to it and put it in there. A lot of these exchanges have the ability that you can set it to check it every 15 seconds or every 60 seconds. And if there's uh, money in there, if there's a uh, electronium in that uh, wallet, it'll immediately send it to, to sell and uh, do an exchange on it and then put that exchange money into your fiat dollars. So theoretically, everything should work out reasonably clean. And this is all part of the testing to see how this actually, you know, you can write this stuff down all on paper and then doodle it here and yeah, it's gonna go there. Um, and yeah, everybody's gonna be happy. But until you start actually doing it, you start to find out if, if it actually works as advertised. And that's gonna be all part of the process, depending on how clean and how fast and uh, how it works. Now, some people are just going to keep the electronium and, uh, and hold on to it, depending on if, you know, if they got to pay for that bottle of water, if they paid 25 cents for it, they sold it to you for a dollar, they've got to be able to buy another bottle of water for 25 cents. So, you know, maybe they'll keep the electronium, you know, the, ultimately, hopefully they keep some of the electronium, maybe they can find somebody that'll sell them electro uh, water in electronium. If not, they got to sell that 25 cents. But now they have the leftover, the other 75% of it. And, you know, maybe their employees will get paid in electronium or maybe uh, something else. And that's where the big key is, is that instead of the money going in and out of PayPal, being beat to death and letting PayPal take 6%, or 3% each, each in and 3% out is that you keep the money inside and you start getting some velocity of the money where it's, you know, I could pay my, the guy who sells me the water and then I pay my employees and everybody starts using the cryptocurrency and the velocity stays within the cryptocurrency and it starts circulating internally and it becomes its own value. And, uh, that that's the standard operating procedure instead of it being yanked out into fiat but uh, obviously as it being something new it's got to go out into fiat in some way and you know that's gonna cost the retailer so you know the retailers got to pay the exchange fee the, to sell the electronium to put it back into fiat uh, they have to then uh, get it out and you know, if they wire it, you know, if they send it over to Coinbase, you know, it's, it's gonna, there's gonna be some sticklers to it. There's no doubt about it. And the faster we find ways to get things in and out without it, it taking a lot of cash out of your pocket. And by taking Electronium and if they have to send it out, let's say they go through the next exchange and they pump it out back to PayPal to go back to their bank account, they're still going to pay that 3% transaction fee. So to the retailer, as of today, using a PayPal system, you know, there's no difference and there's no cost savings to the retailer. They're going to pay that 3% uh, fee, whether you use the Visa card or you use the Electronium, if they need to get their money out. If it could stay in crypto, then they're 3% richer. So basically, if I'm accepting crypto, I'm going to try to find people that I could buy raw materials from that also take crypto uh, or Electronium. Uh, so I, I know that was long-winded, but I hope that answered your question. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Um, Luchik, I think, just had a comment. I... I didn't think of that. Uh, thank you. Electronium gets sent right to next exchange and gets sold within 15 minutes into fiat with minimal volatility. Amazing. Yes. Um, I've already looked into this because uh, I was considering to, or trying to find ways to, to accept crypto 
um, instead of doing it hand to hand combat and you know transfer all right you send me some bitcoin and you know that type of thing um, and then I prove it you know I was trying to come up with an automated process and I did find this uh, system or, or an exchange one of the, one of the exchange had it where it would uh, you could set it up and have it rotate and check for that so let's take a look and see what else we got going on and this affects all crypto whether it's electronium uh, or not okay so let's take a look at what the experimental ASIC is doing for us today uh, we're back down to 790 coins so that's not too bad that seems to be uh, where it's been over the last few days and it's reasonably leveled off it's it's pretty close here you're not talking a huge difference in hash rate and uh, price is still in that ten dollar fifty cent range and you know as Bitcoin goes up you're gonna see the earnings go up additionally uh, on your ASIC miner it's just uh, it has to balance out and uh, I'll, I'll have a video on that how that all works but needless to say it's good to see electronium has been pretty stable on the earnings I think the lowest we saw it was that eight dollar mark and the highest we saw it was twelve and it seems to float in that ten dollar eleven dollar range so uh, good for everybody that has ASICs an ASIC congratulations to you and good to have it on there and that's where we get our experimental ASIC uh, electronium dollars to give away at the end of the contest so uh, it's all good stuff uh, Jay, uh, Jay just dropped in nice to see you Jay glad you said hello now if you're watching out there you know don't be a don't be a zombie feel free to ch put some uh, questions into the chat say hello to everybody uh, you know don't no, no need to be just a shadow uh, you know everybody talks to everybody on the chat and feel free to do that okay I'm gonna uh, take a look at a couple other things and then we'll go back to this chat uh, questions now we talked about uh, this this that and the other thing the Binance so let's take a look uh, I, a couple of days ago I was telling you you know the response to the electronium 242 competition or, or uh, program uh, was uh, obviously doing pretty well I've seen a lot of stuff. We did even uh, a show and we showed some of the videos that were out there for the 242. Um, hope that everybody gets uh, a fair chance to, uh, to win something and I uh, hope it's you. And what's nice is that I had mentioned that if we were lucky we would get an extended amount of time and Electronium did do just that. So my gut feeling was right and you knew about it two days in advance. Uh, because you watch Digit Spin Crypto. So the answer to the question was uh, when is it going to actually end now? So as of right now, it's been extended to two, Tuesday, the 31st. So uh, throw that in. Make sure you put out yourself a, tw a Twitter comment. Talk about Electronium, why you think it's uh, good for you. If you're creative and you can do videos, you know, bang out a video, knock it out. There's plenty of uh, opportunity still. You still have a couple of days. What's say 25th? So we get what six more days. So that's plenty of time to, to do something. Put up a camera and uh, you know tell everybody what you think electronium is uh, what what's needed. And uh, wish everybody good luck. And I hope uh, some of you guys win. It would be nice to have you guys come on here and tell me how much you won. Maybe give me a loan. Hey, hey Tony, I need a loan <laughs> with less than three percent interest. <laughs> hmm. All right. So, make sure you uh, you throw yourself in there, uh, into the ring. It's easy. And keep in mind, you don't have to have the most the most interactions. Uh, the version two and version three, you know, one is uh, depending on how many uh, tier one is how many uh, interactions you have with it. But tier two is going to be just a random uh, group of picks. And tier three is going to be if it's something that tickles the electronium folks fancy. They're going to look at it. If they see something fun, they're going to mark it as such. So literally everybody can win even if one person looks at your post. You still can win. All right. Okay. Make that happen. Okay. 
So Jay's asking, uh, let's take a look at this chat here. Jay's asking, can you repost the Telegram chat link? Yeah, uh, Digispin Crypto, we have our own custom uh, Telegram chat. It's a, it's a private uh, chat channel uh, just for the viewers uh, to be able to interact with myself. Uh, we have uh, a team member from WebDollar on there uh, that follows it and we'll be able to answer questions also. And we have uh, a few folks that are starting to already uh, come in. We just started it a couple of days, about two days ago. And we're starting to get folks uh, to, to go in there and be able to talk uh, about our favorite coin uh, in that particular channel and, and be able to share information before I share it with everybody else on the videos. I kind of post uh, some of the goodies uh, up front in there that I learn about or links or Twitters or things that might end up on a broadcast, you'll be able to get first dibs on it. So it will definitely be listed in uh, the, the, uh, the details of this video. You can also check yesterday's video. You'll see the Telegram uh, link in yesterday's channel. So if it's important to you to get on there now, uh, you can do that. Okay. Now, let's go into... <laughs> I will get to that. Alright, so I want to talk a little bit about uh, web dollar. Now, as you know, um, I, I also do some speculative mining and I, and I, I, I try web dollar. Web dollar um, you know, may be worth nothing and, or it could be worth a penny. I, I don't know what it could turn out to. What I can tell you is that the developers are really transparent. If I, 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 I can ask them questions and they, they answer directly to me. Um, the, the social media groups, they're, they're all pretty awesome and, and they can do that also for you. As, as you can tell, they've even dedicated uh, George Alexandru to, uh, who's in the marketing team, to actually be in the Digispin Crypto uh, uh, Telegram channel uh, just to be able to, to answer any questions. So they've been doing some pretty awesome stuff and the reason uh, that's the reason why I think that there may be some potential for this coin. They're, they're really uh, up to date in their social media capabilities and uh, getting this out to folks. It's uh, CPU mineable, so usually if I have a rig or a machine sitting there, I can just let it open up a browser and it starts mining it for me. So a couple of things I wanted to talk about regarding that was that... Um, the first thing is is that they're starting to, to roll out some of their interaction and one of the things they're doing is an airdrop and uh, it seems like it's pretty easy to get it all you have to do is uh, you know if you go to the web dollar io site it'll create the wallet for you and um, if you take a look and i'm going to put all these links in in the comment in the in the description below so that you'll have access to all these so this is a Google document, and you'll have to fill it out and put your, you know, your Telegram username and all that good stuff. And what they're doing here is, is that all you have to do is uh, a couple of couple of basic things. You have to, if you have Telegram, you just uh, go to uh, the Telegram group and join the Web Dollar group. There's a lot of people out there, and this way you can get updates on Web Dollar. And the community of folks that uh, work with Web Dollar, uh, you have to obviously go to the Web Dollar IO site and let it create the wallet for you, and uh, get itself set up. And you have to uh, share and, and, and like the Facebook page, and there's a Twitter. So you do these uh, couple of things, and the first 10,000 folks that do that, the first 10,000 registered persons, you fill out the form, register. Do these couple things, and they're going to send you a hundred web dollars uh, to put in your wallet. So, you know that's kind of cool. You know, we'll see how that turns out, and you know it's a good start uh, for them to, to get out into the public and uh, give it a shot. So, if you're not doing anything with your processor, this may be something that uh, will work for you. It works for me. Uh, you know, I'm not buying anything with them. I'm just really mining them and trying to collect them, and I. You know, see if I can earn a, a thousand here, a thousand there, and uh, we'll see what happens with it. But the more people that get involved with it, it seems like it's uh, doing more and more. And they have a huge following. It now these guys are in Romania, who who developed it, 
who are the core developers. It's completely open source and it's uh, completely um, open to the public and decentralized and you know all the basics started from scratch with its own uh, blockchain. And um, the following, they have a lot of folks in China that have been getting into this, uh, in Russia. Uh, the United States is starting to really pick up on the, on the following of it. And, uh, and obviously in Europe. So I was kind of surprised uh, the groups and the people that were really getting involved with, with, with the web dollar. So earn yourself a hundred uh, extra uh, web dollars if you have nothing to do. Uh, add it to your list of things to do. Um, I'll also put the link for how to web, how to mine web dollar with your browser, and you know basically you go to the website, you open it up, and and the information is right there. Their wallet's right there. Um, this little uh, page here will show you how to basically put a password to lock it, so that uh, your account to, you know can you know even if it's stolen, they can't get into it. Is without the encryption, so nobody will be able to steal your web dollars out of it. It's a really simple process. You press the lock, put in their uh, your password, and um, you're done. And basically, you save it out to your desktop. Uh, you, you save the file. Now, I don't save it to the desktop. Excuse me. I don't save it to the desktop. I actually, um, I'll put like an SSD card or a USB memory stick, and I'll save it to that. Uh, the backup of the encryption and then I take that out and I write web dollar on it and I stick it in my sock and I keep it off to the side so you know this this way because you don't want that information on your computer because that's how you, you, you get your stuff stolen <laughs> and you know how I look at it this is like it kind of reminds me of a project that started just like Bitcoin way back when uh, it's uh, it's kind of fun, you know, not knowing if it's going to be worth anything, and you know, you hold on to them, and you know, a few years, who knows what could happen, and you go from there. So, uh, they're also they have, um, you know, when you go to the site, you're solo mining. You can also um, uh, work in a pool. So I'll I put the link yesterday in yesterday's video, if I'm not mistaken. It could have been the day before, but I will put it in the comments here. So you'll have the link for this uh, information page, uh, the giveaway, and I'm going to give you the super secret, top secret uh, experimental pool link so that you can give that a try and uh, see how that works out for you. So that, because there's so many folks uh, uh, mining it, uh, you really kind of have to be in the pools now. And the other good thing is, if I'm not mistaken, um, I was told uh, by the Web Dollar folks that they're super close to finishing up um, the code for the pool system. And I think they have a hope to release it officially next week. Could be the week after, but I think it's like next week officially. And um, this will let you even, set, you can even set up your own pool if you wanted to and have uh, your friends and family help you mine or have your machines all mine as one group instead of solo mining so uh, a lot of fun a lot of fun using hardware that's not doing anything okay let's go take a look at the chat and see what we got out there all right so paul saying uh, he always suspected that uh, CERN was deeply involved with Electronium, but he never imagined how deeply. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Paul's basically talking about the uh, the video. You know, I, I had um, a few extra minutes, uh, right, Mr. Bean? Yeah. So, I had a few extra minutes, uh, I think it was last weekend, and I had this idea, during the week I had this idea of trying to do something a little bit different, something a little bit unique that's not what you would normally see. So, um, you know, I was thinking, you know, electronium sounds like an element and that's, uh, you know, what's the biggest thing with elements right now is, uh, is CERN with the Haldron Collider and, and, uh, and smashing things up. And I thought, I thought that this would be 
a good solution to explain electronium. <laughs> I came up with a goofy voice and did a mockumentary kind of a parody of uh, how uh, CERN is uh, uh, colliding electronium particles together to uh, try to understand it and how they're finding all these good things about it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, it actually took a lot less time than I thought it would. I probably only put maybe four or five hours into the whole thing at most. Uh, finding all of the public domain raw footage was kind of tough uh, to do what I wanted to do, but I was able to get it. And I, being that it's CERN, there's a lot of good public domain information out there. So I appreciate the, that you liked it. Mm. You know, it, it's different. It's nothing like any of the other videos that you'll see. So, all right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Jay's also saying, thanks for looking forward to the repost because I think yesterday's link may have expired because it says the group does not exist when clicked. All right, so yeah, now keep in mind, yeah, I'll, I'll do that and I'll, I'll make sure that it is working. I know that if you go on the Telegram, if you log, if you log into the Digispin Telegram group, the link is in the, uh, the a fresh link is in the Digispin Telegram uh, group, so you can get it there, and you, you know you can mine it on your phone if you want to. I, you know, I keep it plugged in and go only half power with it um, if you're going to do that, but you can, and I, I've seen people do it. Um, Yeah, go from there. But yes, I'll put that uh, link in there. Now keep in mind, it is a, it's experimental, so it does go up and down. Um, I've, I've noticed that on occasion when they reboot the servers or they're doing a, um, a software upgrade uh, on the experimental servers, uh, on the experimental pools, I have seen them uh, go offline for an hour or so. And every once in a while, there was, it acted a little buggy because they were working out all of the details with it. But um, it does work. Now they had it. It was interesting. They it wasn't. It was proof of work, not proof of shares. So normally, if I have two machines and I put it on a pool, they'll both earn similar amounts of of, of uh, return. And uh, how Web Dollar was doing was proof of work. And that means that both machines could be running and this one doesn't, if it only hits one time and this one hits 10 times, you can actually make 10 times more on your second machine than you can. So you might have 40 web dollars on this machine and you can have 250 on this one, even though they're the same machines working on in the same pool. It would pay out to those that actually hit. So if your machine scored and did really good, you got paid more. And uh, so that was kind of cool. But it's so different compared to how mining works is, uh, you know, paying for, for the shares. So, um, you know, I'm not sure if they're going to change that, if they're going to go to a share. You know, I think that was part of the experiment is to find out how people liked it. And... Uh, get some feedback uh, maybe I'll ask the question out to George what their plan is if they're planning to stay with chairs or or, or, or work but uh, it's a lot of fun it's something to goof with all right we're gonna get to the uh, the contest uh, in, a, in a few moments I'm gonna make sure I hit everything we got our stuff there Bitcoin yeah we got all the good stuff let's take a look at the chat and if you guys have any last questions put them in now all right, let's see what Nutrix says here. It says the next exchange coin is interesting, only being sold on IDEX. If that exchange gets bigger, who knows? Look at uh, BNB, Binance. Yeah, you know, the, the coins definitely can. And, you know, if a lot of people end up liking next, just an Electronium, there could be a lot of folks that uh, get involved with it. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll have to see. It's it's uh, time. Only time will tell, and we'll know what's going on. All right. So I think I got all of the questions on the on the chat. So that's good stuff. All right. Let's get to our uh, 
or pick a winner. Let's see, did I, get, did I bring that up or we're going to have to load it up? So we're going to go to, hopefully you were smart enough to put your Electronium address in yesterday's uh, video. And because uh, now we're going to pick it out. Let's bring up uh, YouTube and let's go to yesterday's video. There's our live stream. And we'll pick yesterday's show, which was Veris Coin and ETN. Let's get our share for that. Oh, and I don't. Let's get our share for that. I don't need to hear me. Uh, there was our share. Let's copy that share. All right. Let's go to pick a winner. Start C O. It always puts com in there for me. I hate what it does that. Autofill. Thanks, Google. Autofill. All right. Let's try that again. Pick a uh, winner. Let's see. Oh, no com. All right. So there we go. We're going to pick out our winner. We're going to hit paste. You guys ready? Let's make this happen. Let's fetch all the good stuff. All right, so we got seven uh, valid comments out there, and we're going to pick a winner. Now, if the person that comes up does not have an Electronium address, we will say, that's nice, congratulations, hello, that's, uh, uh, thanks for the, con thanks for the uh, comment, but we're going to hit the pick a winner button a second time or a third time until we find somebody that has an Electronium address. You ready? And this is for 50 Electronium. Okay, so we got the uh, Dessert Axe. And we have no Electronium address. So we're going to pick another person. Thanks for the comment, Dessert Axe. We appreciate your comment. Let's pick another winner. Let's pick. This. All right, so we got Mark. Mark Weaver. He is the winner for today. We have an Electronium address. I'm going to send 50 Electronium out to him from the experimental ASIC that we have squirreled away in the other room. And uh, we'll put the transaction number uh, into the, also the comments like I did yesterday, uh, showing proof that I did send that out to uh, Mark. Congratulations to you. Now, come back after the show, uh, cycles, put your... Uh, your Electronium, because it's why you don't forget, put your Electronium address uh, in the comments below for today so that you can earn and win for tomorrow. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.